What are we talking about? the White House? What are we talking about? Who what owns is, the White House? What the freak is that? Guys, you, you can't convince me that's a house. You're not about to convince me that that right there. Right. That can't be just a house. That has to be a complex. Yeah, I was going to say, like, that's definitely the, um, the rental house. Yeah, Nigeria is a land of complexes. Like, they don't have just mansions and stuff like that. They go over the top. Look at this thing. Let me see. What is first up on the list? Um, I think I'm going to start with Nigeria today, man. Oh, my God, that car. Um... I want to give a big shout out to Niger. Niger really pulled up on us, man. Shout out to Nigeria. Um, and, you know, we started off in Lagos, but you guys have made it clear in the comments like, hey, uh, you might want to check out Abuja. Um, I'm not too familiar with Abuja at all, but they said that I'm they have. They said there's a lot of uh, very nice homes, and nice mansions and stuff there. I so mean, that shot is ama- that money shot is amazing. Yeah, this is. Yeah. I really, I was really debating like which video to watch. Um, both from our guy Steve and uh, Steve Steven's dope. Like he, he's like been our African tour guy for for a minute now. That- I ain't gonna lie. Oh uh, no, no. <laughs> No, no, uh, okay. not, not I got excited. <laughs> We're going to have to holler at them, too. Hey, Steven. <laughs> I'm going to start off with the Abuja neighborhood so we can at least get, like, maybe a better overall understanding of this community. And then um, maybe another episode get into this biggest mansion one as well, too. You all right? <laughs> all right. We're getting into it. This is uh, Steven. This is inside Abuja's most wealthy neighborhood only for... The rich. Oh, oh. So. Discriminatory. Yeah. Um, he said, keep your broke ass out of my neighborhood. <laughs> he said, they redlining. He said, keep all no the broke people out. for the rich. Okay. <laughs> no poor people. No broke people is allowed. A, is that a moat? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> they said, get your broke ass. <laughs> oh, my God. Tread all right. lightly. All right, guys, let's get to it. If you guys are new here, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. Let's jump right into it. I love me a good mode. Supercars, Italian Highway. Oh, did that turn off again? No, I just need to turn this off. I'm kind of confused. I don't know if it's a house. I don't know what it is, but then it's a whole lot. We're looking at 34 billion, I guess. Now, look at this property here on the market. You're 1.5. What billion? That's a lot of money. This Spence house in central Abuja costs upwards of $10 million. Trust me, being rich is not enough if you want to buy a home in Abuja's top neighborhood. Being rich is not enough. Abuja is one of the most planned city in Nigeria. The city of Abuja wasn't a... built until 1980 and officially became Nigeria's uh, capital uh, in even nicer version of the so White House. The city has grown and has a population of at least 4 million. And it has some of the most wealthiest uh, Nigerians and foreigners reside here. So what we're going to do in today's video is show you what it's like to live in the wealthiest neighborhood oh, here man. in Abuja. We're going to talk about the cost of real estate, infrastructure, facilities, and all of these good things here in the federal capital territory of Nigeria. So you should stay tuned. Do subscribe to the channel and let me know which of these neighborhoods you like the most. Gabriel, a luxury real estate agent based here in Abuja, will be taking me around this luxury neighborhood. We sell luxury properties right here in the city of Abuja. And in today's video, we're showing to even round, luxurious and nice neighborhood here in the city of Abuja. Bless you. Oh, thank you. Abuja is one of the most planned city in uh, Nigeria. And when I talk about planned, I mean, starting off the roads, we have one of the best good roads. And mm. uh, for me, I don't like traffic. So Abuja is like that place where you just want to come, sit, enjoy, live. Cost of living is affordable. You know, you meet good people here in Abuja. It's oh, a, yeah, this looks uh, a very, very nice place to do business as well. Number five on the list. really nice. And the first neighborhood we'll be visiting is called Jabi. Okay. Abuja is a landlocked city. Los and this area became popular because of its artificial lake. The roads are paved by trees which beautify the area. Jabi over the years has been considered a prime area to own real estate in Abuja. And properties can run into hundreds of thousands of dollars. So yeah, this is Jabi, um, one of the most luxurious neighborhoods here in the city of Abuja. Yeah. Um, what? 
Hmm? No, 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 no. Uh, okay. Someone familiar. Uh, uh, no, that's not. You know who yeah, I thought that was. He was taller. <laughs> <laughs> to live in. People living here in Jabi, we have business people, we have expatriates. All oh, right. We have, we have a lot of diplomats as well because they love Jabi because it's close to the mall. They could go exercise at the Jabi Lake and all of that. It's close to town. I'm not going to lie. This looks, this looks a lot like, um, this reminds me. This is a very well developed country, guys. Mm -hmm. um, just infrastructure wise. Where does uh, it sit? Huh? Where does this sit? Like, where is this? Um, that's a good question. I actually want to. I actually did want to see that. Um, so Nigeria is definitely in West Africa, but Abuja, I am unfamiliar with its geographical location. So, um, I know Lagos is on the southern part by um, the the coast. Abuja, I think it's landlocked. Yep. Okay. I think this is on the northern side of Nigeria. Jesus. So, um, I don't know how big Nigeria was. Oh yeah, Nigeria is huge. So. Oh shit, Ghana. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Big neighbors. Mm hmm. Yeah, they're not that far. So you got Togo and and Benin. That's you know two really small countries. It's like New Hampshire and Vermont type shit. Like, oh shit. Okay. You know what I mean? Um. And yeah, you can get from Accra to Lagos in like nine hours. So a very, very short trip. Um, but Abuja is right here in the center of Nigeria. And like he was mentioning in the video before, like this is not as much traffic. You can get around. It looks like a very, it looks from here. It looks like a small city. Yeah. Like a small town. Like compared to like the rest of this looks like Waldorf. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> um, it is pretty small. Yeah. Um, is Abuja the next Largest city in Nigeria? Let me know. I think it is. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm sure our I'm it's sure our chat comments will us know. But yeah, Nigeria has a lot of a lot of land, so um but yeah, that's that's where it is. Okay. But yeah, like I was saying guys, like the infrastructure in Nigeria is very, very impressive. The roads look really nice, the building, the architecture looks extremely nice, and then you know, it kind of reminds me of like a better Florida a little bit too. Like, cause you can still see the palm trees and stuff like that, and the build, the <laughs> the buildings kind of you know look more cement, like they're able to withstand a hurricane, even though they don't really have hurricanes here. You know, so yeah, hurricanes. Yeah, you know. So you know, like Miami, like it's in Miami. There's a lot more concrete homes and stuff like that compared right. to the rest of America. Like I know a lot of everybody I think in the we comments. We should have concrete homes everywhere. Yeah, but you know we're cheap. Um, so paper mache. Yeah, like all the people in the comments let us let us know all the time. You guys are absolutely right. When it comes to American development, we use a lot of wood and stuff like that. That is very <laughs> that is very like flimsy or weak and stuff like that. Should they just be blown away? Like you think about the Midwest, like they don't want tornadoes. That shit always be breaking up and flowing away. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess if you want to like reset society every five hundred or so years, I guess you would make everything out of wood. But right. you know, don't let me start conspiracy. Right, but these homes, these homes are built to last. Like you can tell, like Nigeria, like the Nigerian architecture, and even um in uh, South Africa, is built to last. You know what I mean, and. The uh, the other thing is, it's it's it it kind of surprised me because I know why Florida does it because it just used to getting hit by so many you know natural disasters and stuff like that. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Does Nigeria have any like natural disasters that you guys have to worry about? Hurricanes, uh, earthquakes, um, anything like that that you know you guys get. I don't. I never heard of anything like that. Um, coming out of the West West Africa at all? Um, let me know. Because in America, there's always some kind of natural disaster you're going to have to deal with, no matter what coast you're you're in. You're like Except if, Maryland. <laughs> Maryland, we get, we get a little bit of everything. We get a little bit of like we don't never right. get nothing too bad. <laughs> right. Some years we might get a hurricane. Some years we might get a tornado. Some years we might get a blizzard. We're not losing houses. Yeah. Eh. Unless it's really the plane did. A couple of years ago, you know what I mean. It's, it's very How random. How long has the house been there? Is the question. You got <laughs> two hundred year old houses. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's 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 calm. It's Maryland, Mid, Mid Atlantic doesn't really get hit that bad. But yeah, I'm curious to know um, in Nigeria because you know most hurricanes come off of the coast of Africa and hit America. What? Yeah, 
it's like it's there's a conspiracy, but I Uno reverse back to you. <laughs> right. I I think it's actually our I I consider it like our ancestors getting their lick back. Cause it, what? Because it literally, if you track hurricanes in their path, they follow the Atlantic slave trade. What? Sh- shipping routes. It starts it's off the reverse. coast. <laughs> it starts off in the coast of West Africa, and then it goes through the Atlantic Ocean, uh-huh. and then it builds up in the Caribbean Sea. It starts knocking off, you know, the islands, the you know, uh, America, and all that kind of stuff. Like it, it, that's what it does. So it's like. It literally follows the uh, transatlantic slave trade. Interesting. Yeah. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know that. I did not know that. I'm going to go down that rabbit hole later. Yeah. I I love geography. Uh, (laughs) But yeah, all right. Let's get back to it, man. Under like top means 15 minutes max. So yeah, yeah. what the style of architecture you're going to find very yeah, common. They kind of have a lot of detached houses, you know, yeah, those big mansion homes and YouTube. all that. Mm-hmm. And they have a few of the apartments because it's not a highly commercial area, so you don't really have a lot of high rise apartments. apartments so right. You just have townhouses and then the villas. So if you're looking to buy uh, a villa or you're looking at from 250 million up. Huh? No, 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 no. no. I'm sorry. What? We got to translate those into American dollars. That is American dollars. 250 million. When they have this dollar, that's American dollars. Let me know if I'm wrong. But whenever they use this dollar sign, that normally normally means USD. But that's not that bad. (laughs) 300,000. Hold on. What are they talking about, Mo? Hold on. What are they talking about? No, because I'm like, wait a minute. They said being rich ain't enough. I'm middle class last, and I'm like, I'm just doable. Right. Now, one thing that you guys did mention in the comments as well, too, um, with Nigeria. Sorry for all the pausing, guys. But um, they said that Nigerians are really, really rich because oh, yeah. they're, not, they're not getting loans yeah, to get these houses. Yeah, everything's they're, out of pocket. Yeah, they, they don't get the bank loan. They're actually paying for the house mm-hmm. with that price. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, shout out to y'all. All right, let's get back to it. I want to know exactly what he means. He said, you have a few apartments yeah, because it's highly commercial. Apartments. Yeah. Apartments. Yeah. You just have townhouses and then the villas. If you're looking to buy uh, a villa or you're looking at from 250 million up. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, from 250 million. million. Yeah. One of our properties that is coming out, the waterfront for 850 million. It's a seven bed. Seven okay, it's waterfront so a million. That's, that's the most expensive. Yeah. Yeah, kind of in this era. yeah. Well, the other one is an estate, yeah. Jabi is an old district. Is that yeah. still yeah. under so construction? You, you kind of see me yeah. contemporary and all of that. So we came out with these contemporary terraces. Yeah. And then we have... I don't think I'm going to... Like, love the way those are like built. Very fresh looking, like especially for the townhouses. Yeah. View of the water. That's a over there, Mary, and then we also have apartments coming up. Let me know what you think of this. Yeah, I wish the water was. Yeah. Oh no. No. The water a little muddy. Yeah. (laughs) You know what I mean? A little muddy. It's a little muddy, but (laughs) nothing but a little. You um, read my mind. I was like. I don't need the waterfront. Listen, not, I, I, you can keep that. Listen, <laughs> nothing a little, a little good filtration system won't fix. You know, <laughs> I th- you know, I I think this is just early development and stuff like that. So they're probably. You know what I mean? I think they'll fix this up, but... Also, yeah. I realized that, like, in a lot of areas, like, there's nothing you can do to stop what color the water is just really? because of... Like, for example, when I was in... Uh, where was I? I was in Myrtle Beach, and I, mm-hmm. like, went down this long canal where, like, all the millionaires' properties, like, sit, like, it's mm-hmm. where all the mansions are. And, like, man, this nice yacht, like, went past us, but mm-hmm. they were explaining to us that the native trees, mm-hmm. um, their roots produce um a color even though the water is like very clean it's mm-hmm. just the roots produce a color that makes mm-hmm. the water look like coca-cola so the oh, water was shit. like brownish what? black oh, and you would, and he's like and they're like no the water is very clean it's just that the the natural um native trees in this area like even if you cut them down the roots are still embedded in the ground uh, which makes the water brown gotcha. so in this area i would say like there's probably some type of clay yeah or like like you said like mud but like it's I don't think that's something that's going to be able to be filtered out just because of what's already like underneath. Right. But I hmm. could be wrong. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um. All right. I just moved the mic so you can hear Carmen better. All right. Get back to it. It is I. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god. Damn. This is Katampe Extension, a pure residential <laughs> district officially designated as an Abuja diplomatic so zone. This neighborhood is one of the newest areas to see development, and a lot of wealthy citizens are buying homes and moving Jesus. here. Jesus. Imagine when the sun comes out. Right. And that was good planning, actually. Yeah, it was well planned. And then the beautiful thing about Katampe Extension is surrounded by these high mountains, these great Doesn't say the yeah. mountains. So I've seen a whole lot. And because of these mountains, when you live here, sometimes it, the house already gets cold. Mm. You know, so it's not so, it's not so hot. Yeah. I told this $1.3 million mansion previously on the channel in this neighborhood, which got sold oh. less than a month. Oh. And look at this house, bro. Yeah, so this is the Queen Lillian property. That is the White House that I station. spoke of. Yeah. And it's so big. Sometimes I'm sure if our body house looked like that, then our presidents would actually stay there. Bruh. 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 Modern developers came in into this area and then they built one of the best infrastructures and also the best properties here. In Katampe Extension, there's need for apartments because mm. there are some embassies around. And like I said, there's a lot of police people who live in oh, so, so you have a lot of government. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah, the expertise here as well. Yeah, the expertise. A lot. Of, so I even have a property down the road. It's like $35,000. At Mint Mobile, we like to do the opposite. Deadpool, get off the screen. Your movie comes out in on Thursday. Get out of here. Where's the Deadpool promo in his Mint commercial? Like, that probably would have... Got you some mint lines. He probably, he probably do got some. They've been advertising like crazy all over the place. They got fuck. They got a ketchup and mustard commercial. Oh wow! For dead boys ketchup and Wolverine's mustard. <laughs> like they, they, they got the money. Oh, <laughs> I thought my eyes were deceiving me. What? I was, I was like, leaning. Gangster lean. Show the lean. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right. Hello? Oh, I muted it. My bad. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> so, this, this one's like, it's worth the price. What's asking price? So, for this, this is going for 530 million. 530 million. That's half a billion. Yeah. You know why properties here are very expensive? The land value here is so expensive. So, for you to own a Oh, land man, land look at that. Like yeah. Tiptoeing on my marble land floors. Land like that, so, it's really like it. The cheapest property in this area. Would be the apartments. The apartments yeah. just need one hit like phone. Huh? Uh, apartment eighty two thousand. Most expensive ones are like from two billion. Bruh. That, that 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 property. Like so if that's... you turn if you turn and look at this. Yeah. It's... If you look at the Queen Lillian. So well, look at the you know, sometimes when I drive right. by these properties, I'm kind of confused. What? What are we talking? The White House. What are we talking about? Who what owns is... the White House? What the frick is that, guys? You you can't convince me that's a house. You're not about to convince me that that right there, right? That can't be just a house. That has to be a complex. Yeah, I was gonna say like that's definitely the um the rental houses. Yeah, Nigeria is a land of complexes. Like they don't have just mansions and stuff like that. They go over the top. Look at this thing. That is massive. What the freak? Look at just how many windows are in the front. Hold Imagine on. Imagine if they had walls just as high as like the terrace. Who is this? The president's house for real, y'all. Like th this guy. Who owns this? They got the, they and got the Nigerian are flag up here. Yo, nah, this is insane. But having this right next to the <laughs> to the apartment, is too <laughs> yo, well, let's uh, <laughs> that, right. they have balconies just to get the house. Like, yo, I, I ain't gonna lie. I buy a house. I have a house this big on that. They're like, nah, get these apartments out of here. Imagine <laughs> being the guy who owns that house. Like, right. Nothing you do feels good enough unless i if i own this no, house whatever that is looks cool but yeah that looks like a cool little uh, guest house or pool house or something gazebo. like that a giant gazebo but these apartments over here i want to like own that too so like i can like check on my it property does you might own the entire do. complex right if you have a house this big you might own this whole neighborhood this is ridiculous this is ridiculous this is let me is this the president's house y'all this gotta be that's one of those houses that you would like make a cake out of. Like it's like, oh, is it a house or is it cake? Right, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Do look like a cake. <laughs> Do look like a cake. Oh man. There's a whole lot. So you yeah. see, these are a lot of chandeliers. One of the most Can we see yeah, it? One of the biggest right. houses. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know the guy in the house? What, what do you think? They're like, nah. This is as much as we get. So right. you get to fly the drone here. They've been building this house for like close to four years now. Yo, like yo, four years. So I'm sure it's really gonna cost a whole lot. We're looking at three to four billion, I guess, because the land wow. is very big, like what, five thousand square meters. Yeah. Billion. It's very, very big. Holy. How safe is it here? So that makes sense. The space station is so safe because we have a lot of expatriates, a lot of military generals living here, a whole lot of like senators, yeah. ministers. Oh, okay. You know, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very, That's the president's house. Real, real gover like, government officials over here. They live here. That's the, the station, president's so when house. When they come to sure. Abuja, they want to be in a place that is very safe. So they choose Katampe station. Yeah. Let me know what you think about this neighborhood as number four on the list and if it's a place you love 
to live in. Yeah, for sure. I'd love to live there. Yeah, for Number sure. three on the list is the central area. Wow. The central business district of Abuja is a highbrow commercialized area. This is what Africa really looks like. Okay, cool. Offices, commercial banks, headquarters, and embassies. This is central business district. You're not going to find a lot of I take everything back about it looking like Waldorf. <laughs> Yeah, you thought. <laughs> yes, it's constitutional. So, we can add this. I can't think of one state that looks like this. People. Right. Everybody's yeah. very commercial right here. Right. It is the city's prime business zone. And then you got the mountains. Which are we got key to the south, the Maitama to the north, Wuse to the west, and Asoko to the east. There are very few residential properties here which can run is into hundreds limits? of millions of naira reserve. Is there, I know that might be a slow question, but some places there, there is not. There's, def there's definitely... Uh, there's definitely speed limits. There's definitely police stops. Ah, yeah. But can't it, come driving in my Bugatti. I mean, you can. Will they catch me? What's the chances of that? That's the real question. Yeah. Drop that down in the comments. How many open roads do we got? <laughs> You'll catch me. I've been watching Fast and Furious too, so I'm I'm in, I'm inspired. <laughs> every single last one of them on Tubi, and yeah. they have their own private channel that goes on a loop. Huh? Of all the Fast and Furious movies. Don't tell me that. You know, I, I, I know because I, I go to sleep to watching them. And I wake up and I'm like, oh, Letty! Letty's <laughs> dead! <laughs> Letty's back! <laughs> Han's dead! Han's back! Giselle's dead! Giselle's dead! I'm so mad. The Rock! Where did he come from? Like uh, That makes me actually mad because I actually spent money renting all of them on Amazon Prime. And I definitely have two. Every so. single last one of them, even the last new ones, are on Tubi currently. Uh, the same for I, I believe uh, at least the first five seasons or three or four seasons of Power, as well as like mm -hmm. all the se seasons of Empire. Like they, too, I got some good good watches on there right now. now I don't watch Empire, but that once mm -hmm. I watched all the Fast and Furious, they just turned that on and oh, it was sure. Gossip Girl. But nonetheless, this is not an ad, but uh, yeah, shout out to that. <laughs> Yeah, right here. Tubi, where's yeah. our sponsor? Water right. Center is located here in CBD and Houston oh House, one of the very few luxury residential towns. In the previous video, I took you guys on an all-exclusive tour of the Water Center Abuja. It's a mixed-use project the where Trace complex Center? would have eight mm -hmm. towers, seven of which would be skyscrapers, a hotel, a clubhouse, and more. The residential towers stand at 110 Whoa. meters high, making it the tallest residential building in Abuja with 120 units of mm. luxury apartments. Oh my God! The cheapest one-bedroom costing upwards of five hundred thousand dollars oh my the most god expensive penthouse costing upwards of 10 million dollars the second oh tower god. is a commercial tower with prime office spaces buying a property here is a dream come through for any nigerian as it is regarded the most prestigious address in the country i'll leave their contact in the description if you need to make any inquiries about this project Amazon let me know what you think about <laughs> central business district abuja as number three highbrow area on the list Abuja has some of the best properties around the country and if you're a Nigerian in diaspora looking to buy any of these properties and you're looking for a cheap and reliable see what his way house to send money right. to Nigeria and vice versa to either buy any of these properties or pay for fees abroad then let me tell you about AfriChange, the sponsors of this video. Cross-border remittance can be challenging but with AfriChange you can send money both ways across Africa, North America, Europe and Australia. Users are able to send money from Canada to Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya and so many other African countries. With their multi-currency wallets really to good. send and receive mm -hmm. money, they have one of the best exchange rates in the market with swift transaction processing settlement time. One of the many reasons a lot of people prefer AfriChange is not just for sending money but also paying fees in over 200 universities in Canada right here from Nigeria. So to sign up you can either download their mobile app on your Play Store or your App Store That's smart. or visit their website. This is the URL. Uh, all you have to do is put in the amount you want to send. It's going to show you how much your recipients will be receiving and you know the money arrives in less than 20 minutes. Thank you Afrika for sponsoring this video. Now let's oh, wow. better than cash app. 20 minutes? <laughs> 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 better than cash app. <laughs> you're, not, you're not wrong. Yeah. Um, Depending on how much you're sending right now um you know shout out to his ad and everything like that we're not sponsored by them but um i i think of everything Yet. in right in marketing and stuff like that like because there's so many nigerians who travel the world and in different places like nigeria is an english-speaking country mm -hmm. that was colonized by the british so there's a lot of Nigerians in the UK, in Canada, in the United States, because mm -hmm. they all speak English. They come here for university. They come here to work. But when they make their money, they send it back home. So yeah. services like this is very, very important. And 
look what they're doing with yeah because just the money. a couple of years ago it was what was it called um when i worked at cvs like people had to send it through like what is it moneygram moneygram yeah, yeah or western union yeah mm-hmm. that, yeah that could take two three business days possibly yeah, for sure for sure. Now it's like instantly twenty minutes ain't too bad. Yeah, to get it halfway across the world. Like, yeah, they got the infrastructure now. Shout out to them, man. Does does Cash App work over there? No, don't. it's not international. Mm-mm. I tried using Cash App when I was in uh, Kenya. Didn't work. What? Yeah. Did they just not have it, or it just doesn't work? It just doesn't work. Like, cause when they realize like that you're in a different country and stuff like that, it doesn't work. But if you have a VPN. Anyone want to sponsor? I can give you a really good VPN sponsor, uh, sponsorship, but yeah. You, you tell me about that after the show. Yeah, I got you. I got you. All right. Been, I, I've been looking for a good VPN. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got one on my phone right now. <laughs> I'm in Tokyo, maybe. All right. As heaven for top government officials and is recognized as Abuja's most exclusive. <laughs> no! Bless you! Highlights of this <laughs> high Thank you. The presidential villa. Well, you just have a fancy property there, so. Sorry. They are just so big for that. I don't know. Sorry about my dramatic scenes. <laughs> <laughs> that. Whoa. What the heck? Is that blue? I can't tell. The place speaks affluent and luxury. Big roots, big cars. There's another White House. It's just like this mansion that just sold for three billion naira. Oh my God. This property is a, it's a, it's a gigantic property. But yeah. this how it is the kind of people have like most of them have like a security house. Yeah. So cool. This is the kind of property. Right. They Fuck are around and really find out. Kind of right. fine with they like this kind of big, huge big properties. You know, <laughs> right? Because most people that own this kind of property, some of them have like two wives. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> We have this and a couple of listen that I told. <laughs> it's a Niger thing, you know? <laughs> Imagine, like, <laughs> before I heard that, I had an intrusive thought. But before I heard that, that kind of was just like, ah. <laughs> it, you so wouldn't let it out? That. But <laughs> yes, my intrusive thought was not related. I was just going to say, someone, wait, said some, somebody was like beefing with you, and they like throw white paint on your house. <laughs> I said white paint, uh, like pink paint, pink like paint. whatever color that's not white. And it's just like, ah, house fine. Mm. Cause they have like these big, nice white houses yeah. made out of like concrete. I think that's why they got them fences out there. So you can't get it, they so you can't get close. Find out, right? Don't be sleeping on the job. Uh, top flight security, you know what I mean? Four get up, Craig. Yeah, for that one. It looks like a six, seven bedroom. Yeah, it's like eight bedrooms. Eight bedrooms. Eight, like eight bedrooms. bedrooms. And they have like a guest chalet. There's a whole lot of space. There's a pool. There's a lift. So what what the kind of people do you think live here in Asokoro? High influential people like um, starting up from ministers, the ministers, you know, military generals. My interest in thoughts were like want to cover my yeah, windows yeah, and throw paint actually, all over the house, you know, different yeah, colors. Yeah, so it's like right. art. Yeah. Super expensive. You do it. Right, the community right. probably like this <laughs> is against <laughs> community <laughs> like guidelines. Do they have a mansion next to an apartment complex. I think that their uh, <laughs> their zoning laws is a little bit lenient. So you might be able to get away with it. I don't know. Like, a lot of them are uniform. Some are, some are uniform. Yeah, true. I mean, the mansion in particular, though, you might right. you might can do what you want. But yeah. Everyone else. Money talk. BS walk. <laughs> you know, I'm your realtor. I can always give you a lot of houses. <laughs> How many people here on this channel has one for something billion to, <laughs> to buy? Like this? Yo, and we're not even talking about your monthly. To run this house, you're probably looking at like, what? Gonna, Five million a month to run yeah, this house. Because you're going to have house? cooks, you're going to have maids, you're going to have security. Yo, you have mm. people. He's the guy with the two wives. The alone is crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, the tire is very helpful. I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you understand? So, so your, your, your monthly expense can be like five million so in a year you can you can do like 15 million you really million. need to have a whole lot of money to live in this whole neighborhood you kind of pay for the security sometimes because you know, there's a patrol all, all day yeah there's a patrol going the around police are always patrolling around yeah police are always patrolling and all that so it's, it's a nice place this district is undoubtedly one of the most secure places to reside a plot of land here could run into billions of naira my most favorite estate in this neighborhood is the Sunrise Hill Estate. Villas here cost as much as four billion naira. Mm. Let me know what you think about this neighborhood as number two on the list. I like it. Wait, that's n- number two. Wait, what's number one? What? What? I keep forgetting that we're looking at different neighborhoods in Abuja. Like, 
that mountain is really selling it. Yeah. She's tagging it, headache. What the heck? Ain't no way. Ain't no way that's all. All them. So this is Meitama. This is number one. <laughs> For the one percent of one percent in Abuja, I Mitama mean, has always been where a desired uh, choice of uh, neighborhood for a lot of people. It's very close to the central business district. It's close to Wuse to We have a lot of embassies here. Yeah. Same thing as Asakura as well. Residents of this district are largely government functionaries, diplomats, ex-politicians, and business moguls. Okay. We're politician in Nigeria. I mean, you you own a home in Mitama. Yeah. People from outside, you know, a lot of people from expatriate all that. They, they really really like here because. <laughs> It's very safe. Mm. Emphasis on the word safe. You know, I tour houses a lot. So yeah. Sometimes the house owners don't get you tour inside the houses sometimes because you know, they just want to have it private. Yeah. yeah. What's the what's the most expensive? I mean, yeah, that's not that normal. Well, sometimes they pay right. it no, you at, can't uh, fill my dollars home. rates. They pay yeah. it in dollars. How much you be hearing like? Four five million dollars. This area has good goods and luxurious estates like Palm Spring Estates, upscale architecture, luxury real estate, perfect Whoa. landscaping, mm. and to the super wealthy in Nigeria. Like not the only one of beautiful houses, all the neighbors houses just like and it. This property right. is rumored to be you worth get a house. over fifteen million dollars. You get a house. Everybody gets a house. It looks up. Bro, <laughs> where Bro. is that? Bro, Goliath. Bro, of a home. What do you Bro. even do with all that space? What? Bro, my my head hurts again. My brain has already like <laughs> what the heck reevaluated everything. I'm like, well, these people don't. It's not just a family. It's a guy with like a hundred wives. Like, <laughs> of course they have all this space. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. One big happy community. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, I'm like, what are these people doing with these complexes? Oh, they're like building a football team. Yeah, Got you know what I mean. They're keeping keeping the family wealth together and building. <laughs> I wonder if they like pick favorites. <laughs> no, you no, you have to treat every wife that you know equally. <laughs> I don't know anything about political media, y'all, but um fifteen million dollars <laughs> fifteen million dollars for a freaking estate. I ain't gonna lie, this is crazy. Look at this freaking house, man. What the heck? Oh my god, look at the the statues. Why do you need these many stairs? The door is right here. <laughs> <laughs> so many stairs, so many steps. Oh Why my god! This, many steps? <laughs> this is insane, bro. Look at how many like just count how many statues you see on the outside. Zoom in. It's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And is that one? No, it's uh, something else. What? The heck is How going on? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is insane. That's man. just the front. This I, is absolutely nuts. But man, wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! How do you even like? There's no entrance in that gate, so like that's, you have to walk around. Just that's what I was saying. Steps. I was looking at that too. I was like, this is kind of interesting. And then there's like no pool, so it's like you're just walking down the steps to be like, yep, yeah, street. Right, I think there's a pool. This looks like a pool over no, here. No, no, no. I'm saying no pool behind the steps. Like, oh going, yeah. Why? Why are so many steps? This is like just for show. Like, hey guys, look at my house. I'm not even entering That's through this museum. way. Yeah, for real. Like, so much. This is a 15 million dollar. All right, bro. My head hurts. All right, let's keep it going. I I don't know what to say anymore. This is ridiculous. Occupied. So uh, anybody that drives through my tama, they yeah. go across this house. It's a castle. It's, it's, it's very gigantic. I don't know. It's so big and huge. <laughs> I don't know, know what it means living in this. <laughs> cool is, cool is the here. steps look so much more scarier <laughs> from like this. House. Mm -hmm. and sometimes it looks like it's been empty, but sometimes you see people driving and out from the from the back. Yeah, from the back. Just open up. You see the gate open up and then it has an underground. Yeah, it kind of slopes down. Yeah, so hmm? big. What? I wouldn't even want to live there. If you're looking at the land, we're looking at like what four thousand square meters. It's gonna be more because it spans all through to the back. Oh, all to the back. Yeah, right? very big, very very big. You know? Yeah. And then see, it's, this is Metama. So you have lots of nice restaurants everywhere. You know, unlike you know, so Wuse Two also have this nice restaurant. But now properties in Wuse Two are now commercialized. So, but the neighborhood is very nice, pretty safe. Let me know what you think of this neighborhood as number one on the list, and if it compares with the most luxurious neighborhood in your city or country. All right, guys. So that's basically what it is for this video. These are some of the best neighborhoods you could own real estate. Man, here. look at that city. One percent like to live here in Abuja. This is what it feels like to live here in Abuja. Super cars, super expensive real estate, and uh, yo, man, just my come God. here. You, you're gonna be motivated. That's my favorite one, though. Right? And I also hope this. Oh, that one's fire too. <laughs> 
give him a music video. Like, right. You can also contact Gabriel. He was Burner Boy out here? Look like out. Burner Boy did a video out here. I know it's inspiring you guys watching it, but it also inspires me making this video. It pushed me to make money. Or the video. You know, there, there are good things of life. Living in a neighborhood like this, it's, it's good you know, to live like this. Everybody deserves to live like this, right? So let me know yeah. what you think about this video. Let me know your thoughts about this neighborhood. Uh, Katampe, Asokoro, Maitama, the central area. Uh, all these areas. Let me know what you think. Which of them you love the most. And um, until the next video, I'm going to see you guys. Peace. Hey, I'm pretty tired. Round of applause for Abuja. Whoa. I'm sorry. I was uh, being um, degenerate. Uh, bruh. Um, all I could say is just wow, man. Um, the jaw is on the floor. Literally been blown away once again, man. Um, absolutely amazing, stunning. Um, now I get to see a whole different side of Nigeria that that didn't really know existed. You know, I'm very, I'm familiar with Lagos a little bit, but seeing, seeing this man is absolutely amazing. I kind of like this too because it's like you have somewhat of a city feel, but it's also you know, not super, super crowded. Like, if you want to... It's like dabbling your feet in both waters, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you want to be away from the hustle and bustle and stuff like that and have a nice, safe, clean, beautiful community, you can have that, you know what I mean? If you want to be a little bit closer to the city where more things are going on, you can have that, you know what I mean? So, Nigeria seems like it has a lot to offer, a lot of different places to see and stuff. So, this was absolutely fire. Fire, 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 man. Yo, shout out to Steven again. And shout out to uh, the city of Abuja, man. Now, yeah, I want to see more now. I want to see more. Shout out to y'all. Another round of applause. Abuja and them bougie homes. Abuja for the bougie. Abuja for the bougie. <laughs> you got any uh, other comments or remarks, Carmen, on, on, on all these neighborhoods out here? What Honestly, you think? it's like beautiful. I kind of... That makes me more interest, interested to see what the city life is mm -hmm. and what they have to offer. Yeah. Because I'm like, this community, they're like a lot of government officials live in most of these communities. Right. I'm like, okay. This could be like a no-nonsense kind of city, too. So, like, I don't That's know. That's what I was giving. I'm yeah. like, okay. Is there, was, I mean. Is there fun? Is there nightlife here? You know what I mean? Like. Or is it more First like... First of all, like the biggest house with all the steps. Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, no one lives here, but there's cars that come and leave all the time. Like, it's giving secret to society. Like, what are you guys mm -hmm. having meetings about? Mm -hmm. The deep state. <laughs> the deep state. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But this is... This is beautiful. This is amazing. Shout out to y'all, man. Nigeria! We trying to see what's going on, man. We trying to come out there too, man. Shout out to Nigeria. All right.